Vancouver Centre. Mr. Speaker, the Auditor General slammed this government for failing to address the high cost of food in Canada's north. There's evidence that to survive, people have to scrounge for food in the dump. Yet the Minister for the North continues to deny this. What's worse, elected officials say she's been bullying them to endorse her failed program and apologize to the Conservative Party. This is shameful. This is not the first time the Minister for the North has failed the North. Will she listen to the AG and act now to ensure that the people of the North have access to nutritious and affordable food? Good the Honourable Parliament Secretary. Mr. Speaker, as I said before, the government wants to ensure that Northerners have the same access to healthy food that constituents like mine have, Mr. Speaker. That's why we created the Nutrition North program, and it's seen good results. Since 2011, Mr. Speaker, there's been a 25 percent increase in shipments to the North of healthy food products. An average family of four has seen a net reduction in their grocery bill of $110. Mr. Speaker, Northern Canada, since this minister has been a part of the federal cabinet, has never been better served. That's She's right. a champion for the That's North right. and for all of Canada, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Scarborough Guild. Mr. Speaker, the Auditor General's report says Nutrition North is a mess. The Minister of Aboriginal Affairs agrees with the Auditor General. The MLA for Joe Haven says the program is not working. The Deputy Mayor for Rankin says that residents are scavenging in the local dump for food. Yet the minister in charge of this particular area says it's all not true and demands an apology. So what's not true, Mr. Speaker, that the AG's findings, the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs agreement with the AG's findings, the MLA's uh, statement for, um, for Joe Haven, the deputy mayor for Rankin, or, or the honorable parliamentary secretary. Mr. Speaker, another, nothing uh, indicates the experience that the Minister brings and the fact that she was previously the MLA for Joe Haven. In fact, she grew up and is from Nunavut, Mr. Speaker. She brings that passion and that knowledge to the House. She's not just reading lines on a piece of paper, Mr. That's Speaker. Right. The reality is the Auditor General knows that more money is being spent, there are results, and we're going to ensure that we take the Auditor General's feedback to ensure that there's more uh, clause in these funding agreements to ensure recipients can provide all information on eligible items, including margins, to make sure that the net benefit is for the families of the North. Here. The Honourable Member for Scarborough Aging Court. Mr. Speaker, this government's blindside.